The novel centers on Dirk Struwen, the leader of a powerful trading company in the early 19th century, during the founding of Hong Kong. Set against the backdrop of British colonialism and the Opium Wars, the narrative captures the political, social, and economic forces that shaped the creation of Hong Kong as a British colony. At its core, the novel explores themes of power, ambition, and cultural conflict. Dirk Struen, the protagonist, is the embodiment of the Taipan, or supreme leader, of the Noble House, one of the dominant trading companies in Asia. Struen's ambition is to establish a permanent trading base in Hong Kong, a key point of control for trade routes between China and the West. His character is driven by his desire for dominance, his personal charisma, and his ability to navigate the complexities of both Western and Chinese cultures. Clavel presents a multi-layered exploration of the intersections between Western imperialism and Chinese society. The Chinese characters in the novel, such as Jin Kua, a wealthy Chinese merchant, are portrayed as astute and capable players in the game of international trade and politics. Jin Kua, in particular, forms a complex relationship with Struan, negotiating deals that emphasize the mutual dependency between the East and West. This relationship between Struan and Jin Kua becomes emblematic of the broader cultural exchanges occurring during this time. Clavel avoids simplistic portrayals of cultural superiority, instead highlighting the intricate negotiations of power between these two worlds. The novel also delves into the brutal realities of colonialism, particularly the ways in which British traders, like Struan, exploit China's vulnerability to Western demands, such as the opium trade. The Opium Wars loom large in the background, serving as a historical reminder of the coercive tactics used by Western powers to maintain control over Chinese trade and resources. However, Clavel also shows that the Chinese are not mere victims, they have their own strategies for survival and adaptation. The Chinese merchants, pirates, and officials are as ruthless and cunning as their British counterparts, creating a world where power is constantly shifting, and survival depends on one's ability to anticipate the next move. Throughout the novel, Clavel examines the personal costs of ambition and power. Struan's relentless pursuit of his goals isolates him from those closest to him. His relationships with his children and with Mei Mei, his Chinese mistress, are strained by his obsession with securing the future of the noble house. Clavel uses Struan's personal life to illustrate the sacrifices required for success in a cutthroat world. Struan's relationships are complicated by cultural tensions, particularly with Mei Mei, whose role as both lover and cultural intermediary underscores the personal and political intersections in the novel. The novel is also a meditation on the nature of leadership. Struan's leadership is both admired and feared, and his ability to inspire loyalty in his followers is one of his defining traits. His rivalry with Tyler Brock, another powerful trader, highlights the competitive, often violent, nature of leadership in this context. The struggle for supremacy between these two men serves as a microcosm of the broader struggles between nations and empires for control over Asia. Clavel portrays leadership as a double-edged sword, where the same qualities that make a person powerful can also lead to their downfall. The setting of the novel, Hong Kong, becomes a character in itself. The city is portrayed as a place of opportunity and danger, a blank slate on which the future of British trade in Asia will be written. For Struan, Hong Kong represents both his greatest achievement and his greatest risk. The city's strategic importance is mirrored in its volatile landscape, where typhoons, piracy, and political intrigue threaten the stability of the burgeoning colony. Hong Kong, like Struan, is in a constant state of flux, shaped by the forces of nature and the ambitions of men. In the end, the novel presents a nuanced portrayal of the forces that shaped the formation of Hong Kong and the individuals who drove that process. It is a tale of ambition, conflict, and the human costs of empire, woven into the larger context of East-West relations during a pivotal moment in history. Through Struan, Clavel explores the moral ambiguities of leadership and the sacrifices demanded by power, making the novel not only a historical epic but also a reflection on the nature of ambition itself.